illness that has taken African society. Just a minute. Okay, it is five minutes past nine. Hey, what do it is only Victor who has put his video on. Hey, when you kindly put on your video if you can so that I interact with people I can see. Victor, thank you for putting on your video. Wengine, Kevin, Malili, Wayne, Warren, Peter, Gitai. Kindly, if you can, put on your video so that we can. What's uh... Wengine? <laughs> kindly put on your video if you can afford. Thank you, Brixton. Victor, umeenda wapi tena? Okay, Philemon, thank you. Where are the others? So we are just at 19. I'm waiting for slightly more before we begin. Thank you, Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Good Kevin. morning. How yes. are you? Good morning. Fine. Okay, thank you. Philemon? Brixton, how about you, Leo? I'm fine, thank you. Mwalili, sikuoni, lakini pokea salamu. How are you, Mwalili? I'm fine. Okay, Warren? Warren? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Wayne Obilo. Uh, Morning. Morning. Peter, there's a name just Peter. I can't see the other name. It's just written Peter. Peter, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, Karibu Sana. Sean, get a Uko. I can see Marcus. Simon, Franklin Munene, Kevin Mugubo, Victor Shukran, Mungina na Meandika Tugubo Yusa, Franklin, Jim, uh, Simon Ahadi, John Macau, Victor Shukran, J.I. or Collins is still connecting. Okay, good morning to all of you. Welcome to this lesson. Um, today we are supposed to be guided by teacher Asenath. But I think she could be having a challenge with connecting. So I hope she will join us in a short while. But for now, we can continue. Thank you for waking up early and logging in. And we thank God for the gift of life and for giving us this opportunity to interact. Somebody to pray for us. Mwalili uko? Mwalili? Yes. 
Yes, kindly pray for us. I wish you'd put on your video if you can. Pray for us so that we start. Let's pray. Yes. Oh God, thank you for this day. Thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the chance even as we start our lesson. Start with us, continue with us, and finish with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. So welcome to this lesson. In our previous, remember, uh, in our previous discussions, or what we are doing is just to go through what we've covered in the previous uh, year. That is from one work, where we say we are tackling uh, the traditional African heritage, which we saw is important as a topic for us to cover as Africans, so that at least we know what used to happen during the days of our ancestors as much as, of course, we have embraced Christianity. And of course, there's a lot to learn from the Africans. But at the same time, of course, when you compare with our faith in Christianity, of course, there's what we can't take up, we discard. We pick the good uh, moral values. And for the others, which are not in line with God's wish, biblically, we drop. So we've, in our previous discussions, we've taken a lot of time to talk about uh, the concept of God, spirits, and ancestors, then we looked at each of these. What is their role? What is the role of an ancestor, God, and the spirit? Then we looked at the role of human beings toward spirits, God, and ancestors. And then we looked at different forms of worship. I don't know, maybe at your own time, um, by the, by the way, after we have discussed these topics, do you ever go back? Do you take time to read again? Do you take time to read again? Victor? Yes. Who next summer? Ama Maisha, you so busy out there. Okay, Akim. Okay, let me just respond this. I'm in a Zoom lesson. I, I will call you. Okay, so anyway, what I wanted to ask is this. Could there be any question or any concern before we move to the next subtopic? Because today we are dealing with the meaning of life, the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African society. That's what we want to look at. But I was just wondering, could there be somebody with a question or a concern based on what we've done previously? Anyone with a concern? Okay, so to end the Sawa, Philemon, No. Okay, Sawa. So we continue with our topic today. Now, the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African uh, society. That's what we are supposed to look at today. Now, maybe let's start from where we are. If somebody were to ask you, in your own understanding, life, what is the meaning of life? Maisha Nenini, what is the meaning of life? What would you say? Anything you can say about life and its totality. Any general comment you can make about life. Not in the context of the, the African, in your own understanding, in the current situation in which you are in. What can you say life is? What is what life? Yes, somebody. Yes, somebody. The Google user, can you mute? Okay, your microphone. Can you mute your microphone? It's just written Google user. Who is this? Who is this? Nani Google user, Apa? Can you identify yourself or I'll lock you out? Yes. Google user, who is it? Google user, somebody? That is how it is registered. 
Who okay. you, sir? He has left. He has left. Wherever it is. Then the others kindly kindly mute kindly mute your microphones. Edwin. Edwin? Mute your microphone. Yeah. Ahadi? Yes. Ahadi, mute your microphone. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so Maisha Ninini, what is life? What is the meaning of life? I just want your general comments. Juvenalis. Hey, when one of my talk about blanket, you are yawning. Juvenalis. What can you say life is? In just in your own understanding, just make any comment about life. What is life? What is the meaning of life? Life. I, I don't know. Eh? I don't know. What are you going to say about life? Kama sasa ukikaa hapo ukiwa mbele ya screen unaongea na mwalimu akupo wake na wewe uko kwenu what is this life Okay somebody please I told you what we were going to discuss so you should have looked at your notes a bit but let's just talk about uh life I mean in your own understanding the few years you have lived by the way how old are you see the few years you have lived Edwin please mute your microphone what is life? What can you say life is? Or some of the statements you've heard people say, life is, I, I want us to come to those, those uh, comments or aspects. Yes, please talk. I want you to participate. Yes, Edwin, thank you for muting. Yes. Simon. What is life? What can you say life is? In our current situation, or in your uh, own understanding, yes. The, exist the existence of individual human beings and animals. It is there? Existence of individual human beings and animals. Okay, thank you. According to Simon, he feels life is that aspect of existence where we have animals and human beings and plants and stones. Do stones exist? Okay, thank you. Somebody else? Somebody else? Hey, you want to onge any tafadali? Akin or pawn? Akin or pawn? Yes. yes, what is life? What? Okay, let me, I'm looking for, I just want to mute all. Okay, who is that? Can you mute your microphones as I get to David Gashema, David Gashema. David Gashema. Okay. Trevor Wanjoy, can you mute John Macau? Okay, thank you. So we are talking about life. Please just give your views. It's 18 minutes pass. Just make any general comment. Clinton. Clinton, what is life? I think life is the state between the, between birth and death where animals animals and, and human beings and plants grow, breathe and reproduce. Yes. Yes, but it is the aspect of plants, animals, birds and, and their what? 
and plus uh, between birth and between Money when they birth and then where they they grow feed and also reproduce okay they 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 pro, they pro the last word you've said is reproduce they co coexist okay yes. so oh yeah the few people have talked you know they are just looking around they are looking at human beings in relation to plants in relation to animals that coexistence now for you as a person when can you say in your, you, for the few, I know you are young, but you've lived, you've lived for a few years. When can you say to you, life is complete? What is it in life that makes you happy? When can you say now, I'm living? Or now, this is life. To you, what would you uh, assess and say now? Vile mambo ya naenda sasa, haya ndiyo maisha. When what is happening? Eh? Yes. Juvenalis, I'm looking at you again. When can you say now this is life? Ni mambo ya hapi ya nakufraisha, for example? Maybe when you have a good job. When you have a good? A good job. A good job, yes. Good yes. When? No. Yes, somebody else. Yes. It, is, it is not just him. Yes, Victor. When can you say now this is life? When? When? When you are what? You achieve your goals. Yeah. yeah, when you achieve your goals. Okay. Somebody else? Okay. What is the what is the purpose of life? Why are you here? I know you are born, you never apply to be born, but now that you are here, what is the purpose of life? Not just for you, but in life, what is, why are we born? To do what? Just from your general understanding of, or from the biblical perspective. Hmm? Why are we to, around here? To do what? To fulfill God's will. Yeah, to fulfill God's will. When you go to the yeah. biblical perspective. So for Christians, when is life complete? When can you say now, this is life? Of course, somebody has answered and said, um, it is when you do God's will. And of course, from the creation stories, we realize that God made man and he was given the responsibility, be fruitful, multiply, conquer the earth, take care of the earth, and of course, when you read through the whole Bible, man has been given a responsibility. You pass through this life with the sole duty of satisfying or doing God's will. So, I, I, okay, so, um, that is when you when you look at life and life is complete as long as you have for from the christian perspective as long as what is the greatest command by the way the greatest command is love of god and love of your neighbor as you love yourself so as long as you are you are you believe in god and you are doing his will then you are leading a holistic life because you are taking care of your physical needs, your spiritual needs, your mental uh, life or aspect. So that is the totality of life. So life becomes complete when you trust in God. That is the Christian perspective or the meaning of life. At the end of it all, if you read Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 14, it says, and this is the conclusion of the matter. Fear God and keep his commandment because this is the whole duty of man. And uh, down there, 14 says, 
everything will be brought to judgment, whether good or evil. So that is what life is all about. So today then we are coming down to the African understanding. And of course, from the Christian perspective, we have the physical life, we have the social life, we have the spiritual life. Okay, if you look at uh, Jesus in Luke chapter 2, verse 52, it says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, pleasing God and pleasing man. So that is the totality of life because he grew in wisdom, that is mental, he grew in stature, that is physical, he grew pleasing God, that is spiritual, he grew pleasing man, that is social. That is the wholeness of life. So now today, we want to look at the African understanding of life. So the question we are going to tackle indirectly is this. Write it down. Write it down. Marcus, how are you? Okay, so write it down. Explain, explain the meaning of life. Explain the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African society. Explain the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African society. Explain the meaning of life Mm. Juvenalis, mute, mm. Juvenalis, Juvenalis, can you mute your microphone? Explain the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African society. So what is life in the traditional African society? Uh, because I had mentioned that we are going to tackle this, and of course by now you should be having your notes on this, can I get responses according to, because it is a topic which we had covered. Can you look at your notes and give me aspect? What, according to the Africans, what is life? What makes up a totality of life? What is it all about? Where does life come from? What? So I want to get responses, various responses. Remember, we are simply revising what we did in the past. So what is life? Any comment? You can refer to your notes and just give me a view. What is in the African understanding? What is life? Kaldavis. Yes, how are you? Fine. Yes, any comment? You have your notes on African heritage there? Yeah. Okay, just read for us any comment about what life is according to the African understanding? Um, life is it's like it's basically the life is basically the the beginning of life of coming to earth. Okay, coming to earth. Yes, where you, where does one come to life from? Who is the source of life? God. Yes, God is the giver of life. Yes, thank you. Any other comment, Josel, Gitai? Thank you for putting on your mic. Gitai, you have your notes on African heritage. What is life? David, is it Gashoya? Yes. David, your hand is up. What is life? Life is the state of being. Yeah, life is the state of being. Yes, something else. Just go through your, your notes on uh, the, the meaning of life. You covered this in Form 1, did you? Yes. Yes, I, we remember we are revising. Victor, Jeng, I can see you have a guest today. What is the name of your sister? Okay. Allow her to just speak and go so that we, you concentrate on the lesson. Yes? Yes. What did you write, Sean? Look at your notes, Sean. What is life? Clinton, yes, thank you. Your hand is up, Clinton. 
Well, life is continuous since death was not considered the end of life. It was just a, a continuous. Yes, life is continuous. Yes, thank you very much. Life, according to the Africans, life is continuous. Even when you die, you move to which world? The world of? Spirit. Yes, to the spirit world. It's just like for the Africa, for the Christians, when we die, is that the end of life for Christians? What do we believe? When you die? There is life after death. Yes, there's life after death. And it is believed that when Jesus comes a second time, people will resurrect, right. either to attain eternal life or eternal death. That yeah. is a belief. That is uh, the meaning. That is how life is explained. Yes, somebody else, look at your notes and just give me any comments which are there about life in the African setup. Uh, Asap, like, okay, okay, yes, Simon? Life is promoted through transitional stages such as marriage, death, birth. Yes. yes, yes, it is promoted through stages. It is believed that for you to live a whole life, you are born, after being born, you are named. What is the next stage after birth and naming? The next one is? Initiation. Initiation, true. After initiation? Marriage. Marriage. And it is assumed after you have lived, you have gotten children. What is the last stage? You yeah. die. You die. Yeah. Then you transit to another world. The world of what? Spirits. Spirits. Yes. Oh, yes. Good. That is good. That is also a very important comment about life. Life transits through. It is expected that for you to have a complete life, you have to be, of course, you are born, you are named, you are initiated, you get married. Then after that, the blessing you die. By the way, in the African society, was marriage optional or it was compulsory? In the African society, was it optional? No. Yes, it was a must. Who, who are the only people in the African society who are not allowed to marry? Priests. Melvin. Melvin, are you there? Who are not allowed to marry in the African society? Only the mad people. Only the insane people. In fact, if the African society, they realize you are really dilly darling and you are taking long and you are not marrying, they would organize and bring you a lady. Okay? And uh, in the African society, that's why even polygamy was allowed to ensure that each and every person gets a spouse or a partner, okay? Do you think polygamy is good to ensure everybody gets a partner? After all, in the world, who are more, ladies or men? Ladies. Eh, who are more in the population? Ladies. Ladies. So polygamy is sour? Mm. No. Okay. okay, of course, biblically, God made one man, one woman, and of course, uh, polygamy is not uh, biblical. As much as, of course, there are people in the African, in the Bible who practice polygamy, but it had a lot of challenges. God's initial plan was a monogamous marriage. So thank you very much for that comment about life. Life transits through those stages. Any other comment? Any other comment about life? Please just look at your notes. Look at your notes and just make those general comments yes about life what did you write what else did you write about uh, other than it being uh, coming from god transiting uh, through those stages yes life is perpetuated through marriage to, to so it can continue the community yeah so there's that uh, continuity of life which is perpetuated through marriage when you marry get children then life proceeds. Very good. Another person? The other people, muliandika nini? Marcus, iyo topic yako, hapo uliandika nini? Just any comment that you made. Yes? No, no. You, yes? Life is enhanced through observing rituals and regulations. Life is? And through observing rituals and regulations. Serving? 
God. Okay, you are your speaker. It, it is not. I'm not, not really getting it. Okay. Can you repeat, Marcus? Life is. It's enhanced through observing rituals and regulations. Okay, through observing this, the last one, observing what? Rituals and regulation. Oh, in the last word is initiation. Regulations. Oh, regulations, very good. So it enhanced by observing rules and regulations, very good. Asaf. Asaf, why is? Ongea, Asaf. Okay, Victor M, I can see you. Anything you wrote about life? Human life is precious and highly valued. Yes, it is highly valued. Very Human life is highly valued. David, your hand is up. David? It was, yes, it was evil to murder or kill. Yes, it was because life was precious. Okay, precious. so those then are the various aspects of life. Now, in your notes, did you write about the various dimensions of life? Which are the, the four dimensions of life that you mentioned? Yes? The four, according to the Africans, there are four dimensions of life. I, I have just mentioned to you that for Christians, there is the spiritual, physical, mental, and uh, what? Social. So yes. which are the four dimensions of life? David, your hand is up again. Environmental. Environmental. Physical. Physical. Spiritual. Spiritual. And social life. And very good. Good. Africans, <laughs> the dimensions of life were four. Each one of them was important. Physical. Uh, uh, which refers to the material state, the social. Uh, it refers to relationships. Human beings are generally, Marcus, you can mute. Uh, the social dimension refers to the social relationships, living with others. The spiritual dimension links the human beings to the spiritual world. And then environmental deals with the relationship between the physical and the environment. So the comments you've made are valid. So in your own understanding, I'm greeting you again, good morning, even if you respond behind your microphones. The, for the African understanding, there are various views, just the way that we compared with the Christians, there are various views about life. Life is sacred. God is the source of life. And life does not end it it is as it is cyclic it you you move from the living from the i mean you are born you live you die then you go to the spirit world and then life uh is in the, 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 it has faces or it has dimensions there's the physical part the material being the social how people relate the spiritual how you relate with them with the, the, the superior beings. And the superior beings we have been talking about are God, spirits, and ancestors. Then we have the environmental aspect whereby it shows how man relates with the environment. So with that then members or students, at least you reminded yourself what we said about, about what? The meaning of life and its wholeness. So can we put down these comments again? I know you are, because now we are sort of answering this question. So let's write the major points about the, the, the meaning of life and its wholeness. So number one, um, in the traditional African society, God is the source of life. In the traditional African in the traditional African society, we believe that God is the source of life or life originates from God. Life originates from God. In the traditional African society, God is the source of life or life originates from God and therefore it is sacred. Therefore it is sacred. That is, it is holy. It is sacred. 
Okay. Okay. Uh, then just say that life, life is communal. Life is communal. For the Africans, life is communal. Okay. In that duties are shared among the community members. Duties are shared among the community members. Duties are shared among the community members and they depend on one another. 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 And of course, underline the word communal, which is very important, a very important aspect in the African community, which sometimes with the modernization we lose out. Of course, it has its disadvantages, but the fact that duties were clearly shared, um, and everybody in the community had a responsibility towards one another, this is what makes this is what we call African socialism, okay? As opposed to the West where there is a lot of individualism, this was an understanding in the African society which cushioned people so much. Okay, so let's write another comment, say that uh, there are several dimensions of life in the African society. There are several dimensions of life or there are four dimensions of life. So we write about each one of them. So according to the Africans, there are four dimensions of life, which include physical, social, spiritual, and environmental. So for the Africans, there are four dimensions or facets or understanding of life, physical, social, spiritual, and environmental. Then we write briefly about each one of them. Lemayan, how are you? I can see. Thank you for putting on your video. Good morning. Okay, so let's write physical. So write the following. Physical refers to the material state of human beings. Physical dimension refers to the material state of physical refers to the material state of human beings. Let me see whether I call my, okay. Physical refers to the material state of human beings. Then social dimension, social dimension, social dimension of life comprises the relationship of living with others in the community. Social dimension of life comprises relationship of living with others in the community. Okay, then spiritual, spiritual dimension, spiritual dimension, Hello, let me just have, would he manage to, to join? I would you manage to join? Okay, let me continue with the lesson then, to Tutaongea. Okay, sorry, I was uh, connecting with the teacher Asena. She has had a challenge, so let's just continue. So say, Social dimension of life comprises relationships of living with others in the community. Then spiritual dimension links human beings with the spiritual powers like God, spirits, and ancestors. Spiritual dimension of life links human beings with spiritual powers like God, spirits, and ancestors. Uh -huh. Then uh, the environmental, environmental dimension of life, environmental dimension of life is the relationship, 
environmental dimension of life is the relationship between the physical environment and human beings. The spiritual dimension of life links, sorry, the environmental dimension of life is the relationship between the physical environment and human beings. Okay, remember we are making several comments about life. Life, its meaning, and its wholeness. So we continue. So, for example, if I were to ask you, what is the, in the African understanding, or even in our present environment, what is the relationship between us, human beings, and the environment? And when we are talking about the environment, all of you I know did geography. What is the environment? Environment in us, in Amanisha. What is the meaning of environment? Environment means? Elijah. Elijah. I want Elijah to talk before I give David a chance. Elijah, are you there? <laughs> okay, David, what environment? Ninini? Physical conditions and uh, factors surrounding a living organism that yes. sustain its life. Yes. yes, so the surrounding, the surrounding. So w when we are talking about the physical surrounding, it includes things like what? When we talk about the environment, all that surrounds us, what does it include? Elijah, you wanted to talk? Elijah. Okay, so the others, it includes what? The whatever surrounds us in our environment, it includes things like? David? Trees. Trees. Mm. What else? Animals. Animals, what else? Ocean. Yeah. Yes, Clinton? Ocean. What? Lakes and rivers. Yeah, water bodies. What else? The heavenly bodies, are they part of our environment? The air around us, is it part of the environment? Yes. Of yes. Course. So when we are, and, and of course, what is the relationship between us and animals? Any relationship? Any animal, what is the relationship between human beings and animals? Hey, people, this is so simple. Talk. It is what you know, yes? I don't want to keep choosing David alone to talk. The others also talk. Sean, I remember one time, is it you, Victor, who, or it was not in this class, where? A lesson, the lesson was interrupted because somebody went to, they told us the dogs were fighting. So Alienda could sort the dogs, Kablea Kurudi kwa lesson. What is the relationship there between the, the human beings in that home and the dog? The dogs are used for what? Security. What? Yes, for security, okay? So they are used for security. So there's a relationship. The dogs serve us or we, and we also take care of them. If it is plants, we use the plants for food. We use the, the plants for medicine. We use the water bodies. We have the water for irrigation. We have the water for domestic use. So that is the relationship we are talking about. So when we are talking about the environmental dimension, in the African society, there was a relationship between the animals and plants and human beings. There is a way in which the, the human beings use the plants, and there is a way in which the plants also benefited from the human beings. So that is the relationship we are talking about. Okay, so let's continue with other comments about life. So life, uh, we say life is enhanced in the African society, right? Right, the following. We are through with explaining those dimensions. Life is enhanced through the observance of rituals, taboos, and regulations. Life is enhanced through observance of rituals, taboos, and regulations. 
Life is enhanced through observance of rituals, taboos, and regulations. Now, which, which, which dimension of life do you think is, we, are we talking about here? Life is enhanced through observance of rituals, taboos, and regulation. Which dimension of life are we talking here? Which is really enhanced through rituals, taboos, and regulations? What do you think? Which dimension? Physical? Ritual. Ritual. Very good. What is a taboo? What is a taboo? Remember, we are revising friends. David, what is a taboo? A taboo is a belief that you should not do something that is believed to be socially or spiritually wrong. Wrong. Okay. So a taboo is a, pro, a kind of a prohibition. Okay. What you are not supposed to do. A taboo is a pro, some kind of a prohibition. Can you give me some taboos which you, you, you've heard of in the African society? Yes. It is a taboo or it is wrong to do what? One. To eat fish. Two. To eat fish. To eat fish Clinton. in some community. In some community. It, is, it, is, it is a taboo to eat fish. Yes. You are not supposed to. <laughs> okay. Frederick, yes, you have in, in the community. In the Maasai community. Oh. Yes. Okay. Frederick? Uh, to participate in witchcraft activities. Yes, it is a taboo. In fact, if you are a witch, you are cast out of the community. Another taboo? Commit incest. Oh, yes, commit incest. You are not supposed to relate sexually with somebody who is your relative. Okay? And it is so sad because in this corona time, I think, is it this class where I was saying, a young man of 19 or 20 or was it 17 years made the two sisters pregnant. That is a taboo. And of course, it is so sad. Very sad. Take care of your sisters, young men, okay? Okay, yes. yes. Another one? Another taboo? What did you do? It was wrong. In the African society, it was wrong for girls to climb trees. Okay? Girls were not supposed to climb trees, okay? In the African society, it was wrong for a girl to share. The, the father always had a special seat, and it was wrong for a girl to share a seat with the father. So it was a taboo to sit on your father's seat. In some African communities, it was a taboo for a mother or a, a son-in-law to share a house or a roof with them, even entering the house of the son-in-law. And in some communities, by the way, it is still there. I know of communities where a mother visits in, in the urban centers. He cannot enter the, the, the son's house or the son-in-law's house unless they have built a house out there or a tafetuous space to go and, I mean, a neighboring house to sleep. So anyway, those are taboos. Taboos are prohibitions. So we are saying life is promoted through, I mean, is, it is enhanced. The rules are enhanced through the, the right rituals. Rituals are some kind of ceremonies. Taboos, regulations are rules. Okay, let's write another point. Life is promoted through transitional stages. Life is promoted through transitional stages, such as birth, initiation, marriage, and death. Life is promoted through transitional stages, such as birth, initiation, marriage, and death. Life is promoted through transitional stages such as birth, initiation, marriage, and death. And of course, I don't need to talk about this because we talked about them and still, of course, in our revision, we are going to mention them. Okay, then, um, then the other point about the totality of life uh, is... Life is perpetuated, Some one of you had already said this, life is perpetuated through marriage, life is perpetuated through marriage, 
for the continuity of the community, for the continuity of the community. Life is perpetuated through marriage for the continuity of the community. And of course, we had said this, Kiprotich and Frederick. Kiprotich and Frederick, mute your microphones. Okay, life is perpetuated through marriage for continuity of the community. So, through marriage, children are born and life continued. So, life is passed on from one stage to another. Then, uh, another aspect about life is that death, death transforms an individual from the, phys from the physical life to a spiritual one. Death transforms an individual Death transforms an individual from the physical life to a spiritual one. And that is what we Clinton mentioned that there was life had that continuity. After you are born, you live, you are named, you are initiated, you marry, then after death, you move to the spiritual life. Okay, then another aspect about life in the African society is that God sustains life. God sustains life by providing people with rain, food, farm produce, and livestock. God sustains life by providing people with rain, food, farm produce, and livestock. God sustains life by providing people with rain, food, farm produce, and livestock. Okay. Then, Another point about life, say, okay, say, another aspect about life is that uh, crimes, crimes in life, crimes such as murder, crimes such as murder, suicide, crimes such as murder, suicide, are harshly condemned, are condemned harshly. Crimes such as murder, suicide, are condemned because they violate the sanctity of life. <laughs> because, because they violate the sanctity of life. Okay, then, Another aspect of life is that life is viewed to be whole only if life is viewed to be whole, I mean to be complete, okay? Life is viewed to be whole only if a person goes through all the rites of passage. If a person goes through all the rites of passage. So life is viewed to be whole only if a person goes through all the rites of passage. And of course, here we are saying that one must go through birth, naming, initiation, marriage, and then death. So that is the full cycle of life, according to the African. Okay, uh, so those are some of the general comments which we can make about life. Okay, so I'm, I'm sure if you go down to your notes, there's what you wrote. Remember, we are revising and we are answering this question on what, the, what is the meaning of life. So for the Africans, life is God-given, life is sacred, there are various dimensions of life, the four that we have mentioned, 
then for one to live a whole life or you, the, the wholeness of life we have seen for the Africans, it is only complete if you go through those phases of life. And of course, life is communal. Each person has responsibilities which are given, which are shared, and anything you can say about life. Now, maybe as you are going through your notes, I'm sure as I was mentioning this, maybe you are looking at your notes. Is there a point which you feel we should add? Maybe a point which we have left out? Yeah. A point which we have left out? Any question up to that point? Seth, Seth Kabiro. Seth yeah. Kabiro, how are yes. you? Fine. Umeelewa, kuna swali? Aina nimeelewa. Point gani umeshika sana? Uh, the aspect, the four aspects of life, the four dimensions. Eh, yeah, which one? Uh, the spiritual dimension. Yes. The social dimension. Yes. The physical dimension. Yes. And the social dimension, the environmental dimension. The environmental, very good. So, and of course we have explained each one of them. So we are through with that question. So remember under this subtopic which we are looking at, we are looking at the meaning of life, we are looking at the African community, we are looking at kinship and factors that contribute to mutual responsibility, harmony in the African society. So we are through with the meaning of life and its wholeness in the traditional African community. So we move to the next subtopic. And of course, we are going to discuss it uh, through a question. And we are looking at the African concept of community. David, your hand is up. You have a question? David? Yes, I think yes. we should also add the point about the Africans believed in life after death. Okay, they believed in life, in after, life death. after death. Yes. yes, have we written that point indirectly? Okay, where we have said that death transforms an individual from physical life to a spiritual one. That is that, but of course, in other words, or maybe just put it this way. You can add this point, it is the same, but it is just an elaboration. Put it down as David has suggested that life is an ending. Life is an ending. In the African community, they believe that life is an ending. Okay? Death is viewed not as an end of life, but as a change of state. And it is the same point which we have written. We are just elaborating that life is an ending. Death is viewed not as an end, but as a change of state. So you are changing from the physical life to the spiritual life. And that is why, can you give me the difference? Let's remind ourselves. What is the difference between ancestors and spirits? What is the difference between ancestors and spirits in the African context? Josel, Gitai, Uko. Gitai, okay, Frederick, your hand is up. Frederick, talk. Frederick. Hey, your hand is up. Or it, it is say, up by, yes. We saying that the difference between the ancestors and spirit, yes. spirit are the ones who died long time ago they, and they cannot be remembered. Yes. Well, well, the ancestors, they are the ones who died recently and they are the living dead. Yes, they are the living dead. Ancestors is the same as the living dead. That is why we have somebody like Ndewa. Brixton, you are there. Brixton, Ndewa. Ndewa, I believe that name is a, uh, one of the old, I mean, the, the Africans who lived some years back. The fact that we are mentioning Ndewa means that this Ndewa can still be remembered. So that is an ancestor or a living dead. But those who die and their names are forgotten, those are the ones who go into the spirit world. So it is this aspect now which we are talking about, that life has no end. You are just, once you die, you move from one state to another. Okay, so let's go uh, to the next. Any other question? Sawa. So give the characteristics. Okay, so we are looking at the African concept of community, 
and kinship. So uh, write this question. Give, I mean, explain the meaning of, of community in the African context. That is one way in which this question can be framed. Explain the meaning of community in the African society. Give or explain the meaning of community in the African society. Or alternatively, this question can be, fr be framed in this way. Give the characteristics of a traditional African community. Give the characteristics of a traditional African community. Give the characteristics of a traditional African community. Okay, now maybe let's start with where we are. David, your hand is up? Yes. Yes. One, char one characteristic is that the members of the community include the unborn, the living, living dead, and their ancestors and the ancestors very good okay Let, maybe before we continue looking at the characteristics i just wanted us to compare with what we have in our current society for example in our society today when we talk about the community which you come from what comes to your mind what when we talk about community a community what comes to your mind for example no let me not give an example maybe let me just get your response let's forget about the african characteristics first we come to kenya we come to your estate or wherever you are logging in from when we talk about a community what comes to your mind? What are the examples of communities that you can mention? Maybe we start from there. Okay, do you belong to any community? Give me your, the name of your community. David, your, your hand is up, yes? Kikuyu community. There? Kikuyu. Okay, Kikuyu community, that means you are talking about an ethnic group, okay? Yes. But now, other than the ethnic group, is, are there other communities which you belong to in your day, yes. I mean in your life? Yes. Is, yes, which one? Mangu community. Very good, Mangu community, because this is an institution, a school. Hey, by the way, young men, are you missing school? Very much. <laughs> Why is thought... him is not missing school? Who is missing school? Somehow. Hey, Elijah, David, are you missing school? Yes. No. Yes. Sure. No. I'm no, no, by the way, I'm at when let you know online learning paka bupanya mutiani to sirudi shule. Oh, yes. Oh, let me hear. What are you missing in school? See. What are you missing that you wish you would go back to in school? Funky. 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 What else are you missing? Cooking beer. I miss food. Food is sure. Food is sure. I need to what are you missing? What are you missing? Kubonda. Kubonda means Kupanishiva. Yeah. So your parents, your parents are not punishing you. Ama nini ni wazuri mukiwa nyumbani? Hakuna mwaka mwaka mwaka. Ni malaika tu. So, already I can see, and for your information, when are we going back to school? Next year. 
January. Yeah, in January. So just brace yourself to stay at home. But for, you can carry forward all the missings or all the things you wish to engage in. But every community, or the, Mangu as a school is a community in itself. It has its role, it has its organization. And already I can see you are reflecting and seeing what used to happen in that institution. Other than the ethnic group, the Mangu community as a school, which other communities do you know? Christian community. Yes, somebody? The Christian community. One person, please. Who is talking? Just, uh, I wish you would raise up. David, it's only David's hand which is permanently up electronically. Somebody else? Yes. Okay, other than the, the school community, we have the church. Like now, you know, all the churches have been closed, but of course they allowed a hundred people to be there under very those strict rules. So when we talk about a community here, we are talking about a set, uh, a community, uh, in the, of course, in the African community, when we talk about, uh, of course, the, 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 it is a social unit. A community is a social unit. And of course, the, the most basic, social unit is the family. From the family, you, you make, I mean, from the father, mother, parents, you, you, you move to the extended family. Maybe you, you have a clan. From the clan, the various clans make a community or an ethnic group. So here in the African understanding, when we talk about a community, this is what it means, okay? Uh, the a community so just write this write this that a community is a group of people that is according to the african understanding a community is a group of people occupying one geographical location a community is a group of people occupying one geographical location and they are guided by common values. And they are guided by common values. A community is a group of people occupying one geographical location and are guided by common values. Maybe you can also add that for the Africans, a community are members related by blood a community makes up members who are related by blood, marriage, and adoption. Marriage and adoption. So for the, for the Africans, when we talk about a community, in fact, it is now what we call the ethnic group, okay? Cause, or the word which maybe is not very, very polite or which we may not really want to use because it has a negative connotation is tribe, tribe. For the African understanding, the, the given tribe or the given ethnic group, this, because a, a tribe or an ethnic group is made up of families, clans, and a clan is made up of people who are related through blood. So, when we talk about the African community, we are actually talking about an ethnic group. So can we get some of the characteristics now? And of course, uh, David was right when he says he belongs to the Kikuyu community. This is the tribe, this is the ethnic group. So can we get some characteristics very fast because we have about 20 minutes? Because I, we, we, we have to write this before we go. Yes. What are the characteristics of our community? Yes. What do they have in common? Yes. Muliandika nini? For they whatever have a common. It, it is uh, made up of? A common ancestry. Yes, they have All a common origin. ancestry. Yes, that is one. For example, the Kikuyu, they believe their ancestor is who? Kikuyu and Mombi. Kikuyu and Mombi. For the Luo? Who is your great ancestor? Yes, I. For the Kalenjin or Kipsigis 
or two gen. Uh -huh. Yes, so that's what we are talking about. They all have a common answer for the Kamba. Okay, David, your hand is up. Yes. Another characteristic that members of our community speak a common language. Yes, they speak a common language. Very good. That is why, for example, the Luo, they all speak uh, the Luo. The Kisi, they speak Ekegusi, like that. The Kikuyu speak Gekoyo. They have a common language. Okay, another characteristic? Talk, the community, talk. The community yes. is made up of smaller units uh, called the clans. Yeah, they, 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 they are made up of smaller units called the clans. Yes, and of course, these clans have a common uh, leader or they have a common patriarch. Okay, yes. Another characteristic? Every community, every community yes, has its own, every community has its own customs and beliefs. Okay, they have their own customs and beliefs. Very good. Another one? Members of the community include the unborn, the living, the living dead, and the spirit. Very good. True. Yes. Another one? Members of a community may either be related by blood, marriage, adoption, or ancestry. Okay, which we have mentioned. Thank you. Another one? Members of a community are expected to show concern for the well-being of others or communal ownership of property. Okay, good. That is Gashema still. Uh -huh. The other people, Alex, Macau. Alex, Uko. Alex, Macau. Uko, na Henry. Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, David has summarized uh, the characteristics. And of course, that also brings out uh, the meaning. If you are asked for the meaning, of the African community, those are the areas or the characteristics which you should bring out. So just remember, it is what you have done. We are let's just write. We are just keep touching base with what we had covered so that we don't forget. So these are the characteristics. Write them down. Uh, so as he has mentioned, let's go say the African community consists of the living, the living dead, and the yet to be born. The African community consists of the living, those who are living, the living dead, those who have died and can be remembered, and the yet to be born. So for Africans, they care or they believe the our community is made up of those who are there, those who have died, and, there, and those who are yet to come. Where do we find those who are yet to come? At least we know the living are there. The living dead are in the grave, or they, they, they were buried and went to the spirit world. Where do we get those yet to be born? In the womb. In the womb of their mothers. <laughs> you, <tell her. laughs> you are right. It is true. So it is under which stage of life? Where do we find this? Because we have the four stages of life. <laughs> And birth, naming, initiation, marriage, and death. Where do we get them? Birth. At which stage? Birth. 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 Yes. And birth only takes place in a, a situation where there is marriage. Okay. Thank you marriage. very much. Yes. Very good. Okay. Then another point about uh, community is each community is governed by specific rules and regulations and traditions. Andika, just write, even if you had written, remember this is a, we are, we are making history, we are writing history, corona history, okay? So write. So the African community, okay, the African community is governed by specific rules, regulations, and traditions. So each community had their own rules, they had their own regulations. Like somebody has told us uh, that uh, it was a taboo for the Maasai to, to eat fish, okay? So that is a, an interesting one. Mr. Njaroge, welcome to our lesson. How are you, Mr. Njaroge? Okay. Okay, karibu sana. 
Then another point about uh, the African community is the survival of the community, the survival of the community depends on God and other spiritual powers. The survival of the community depends on God and other spiritual powers. The survival of the community depends on God and other spiritual powers. That is, for the survival of uh, the community, they depended on God. And you realize that each community had their own God. Okay, let's start. The Luo, name for God in the Luo community? Nyasai. Hey, Nyasai. Luya? Kamba? Mulungu. Watu wapwani? Mola. Mungu. Mungu. Okay, Nyame. so each community okay. had, they depended on a superior being. For the Kikuyu, we have guys. So that is an aspect of the African community. Then the other point, each community believes that God is the one who created the first human being. Each community believes that God is the one who created the first human being. Each community believes that God is the one who created the first human being. What is the name of the first human being in the Kamba community? Because I'm not starting with the Kikuyu because we have already mentioned Kikuyu and Mombi. In the Kamba community, what was the name of the first human being? Okay, Kalenjin, Luo, Sorry, yes, that is a, okay, Mwalili. Now, if you look at the myths or the stories which are given, Mwalim, you want to give us an answer? No. Okay, so we are saying that each community believes that God is the one who created the first human being. Then another point, God gave them a place. Remember, we are talking about the characteristics of the community. God they gave them a place to settle in and responsibilities to fulfill. God gave them a place to settle in and responsibilities to fulfill. Now, maybe let's just look at the, okay, God gave them a place to settle in and responsibilities to fulfill. Maybe we look at a common myth about creation in the African community, like the Kikuyu community. It is believed that Ngai, God gave Kikuyu and Mombi a place to settle. What was the place that they were given to settle? Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, Mount Mount Kenya. Kenya. No. Yes. The area surrounding. Yes, Mukura. 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 Wa? Yeah. Yes. So this is associated with the place. It is believed that the Kikuyu community believes that land was given to them around Mount Kenya. Okay. And of course, they believed God lived on Mount Kenya. The snow they believed is the presence of God or the purity of God. To worship, they always were required to face Mount Kenya. So they were given a specific place. And that is why you realize that most of the ethnic groups have a specific land where they occupy. Okay, for the Kamba community, there is the Ukambani region. For the people at the coast, the Mijikenda, they are there. For the people in Western Kenya, so they believe this land was given to them. The Maasai, now, what happens to the Maasai and the nomadic pastoralism and the fact that most of the land has been taken, but they still have their region. Like the Maasai believe they were the ones who were given animals and no other community has a right to have the animals. And that's why cattle raiding maybe was yes. looked at as proper. So you can explain that. Let's finish. Leadership in the community is provided by heads of families, elders, and religious specialists. Leadership in the community is provided by heads of families, elders, and religious specialists. 
Okay. Uh -huh. Frederick, Frederick and Mwalili, can you mute your microphones and Victor Njenga? Okay, Victor Njenga. Okay, so leadership in the community is provided by heads of families, elders, and religious specialists. Then another point, so in these communities, the, the leaders were the heads of families, the elders of the the locality and the religious specialists. And of course, we know the names of the religious specialists. Then another point, uh, the social structure of the community, the social structure of the community comprises individual family units, which form a clan. The social structure of the community, the social structure of the community comprises individual family units which form a clan and several clans make a community and several clans make a community and several clans make a community okay then another point is that members of a particular community speak a common language. Members, members of a specific community speak a common language. Okay, then another characteristic is that each community each community has their rules or it has their rules, taboos, beliefs, customs, and cultural and social practices. Each community each community has their rules, taboos, beliefs, customs, and cultural, cultural and social practices. Okay. Then, finally, okay, the second last point members are expected to show concern for one another members are expected to show concern for one another and foster the common good members are expected to show concern for one another and foster the common good so we are saying that in each african community that aspect of concern for each other was very very important And then still connected to that, just finish up and say, they are also expected to participate in the life of the community. They are expected to participate. They are expected to participate in the life of the community. Amesema. Last but not least, unless somebody has a question, last but not least, the community promotes a sense of belonging and identity. The community promotes a sense of belonging and identity for its members. The community promotes a sense of belonging and identity for its members, thus making the individual feel secure. The community promotes a sense of belonging and identity for its members, thus making individuals feel secure. Okay, so those then are some of the common characteristics or understanding or the meaning of the community. So in the African society, when we talk about the African community, we are talking about the ethnic group. 
who have believed to have a common origin, a common ancestor, they have common beliefs, they have common practices, they have a given, they live in a geographical region, they have their, their rules, regulations, they, they have a specific belief in a God, they is where they believe they came from, who was the first ancestor and all those aspects which we can talk about the African community. Good. So with that, students, uh, that is the, the bit about the meaning of the African community. Any point which we have left out, which you want us to add? Any, any, any point? Remember, we are not discussing this as if it has not been done before. David, is your hand up? Yes. Yes. There is some point about uh, members of a community carry out similar economic activities. Yes, very good. It is true. Add that, members. Add that, that uh, members of a specific community carry out uh, common uh, activities. You know, given that they have a given locality, somebody's hand is up. That is Griff, Griffins. Griffins, is your hand up? You want to talk? Griffins? Or it is up by mistake. So we are saying, if you look at the people around the lake, that is, it is believed that is where they were, that is the land they were given. What is their major economic activity for people around the lake? Fishing. Fishing, other than fishing, they also do farming. Um, the, the people around Mount Kenya, the people around uh, the Ukambani zone, the people at the coast, the people in the Rift Valley. So each community, they, they, they were either pastoralists uh, or they were sedentary where they practiced agriculture or they planted. So each community had its unique economic activity. Any question, Griffiths, is your hand up or it is by mistake? Any question? Any other question? Any question? Okay, students, I'm happy. Uh, uh, our time is up. Uh, I appreciate your attendance. And we have been able to cover two main subtopics. Yakwanza, Tumefanya Nini? We were discussing the meaning of what? Meaning and wholeness of life. Okay, very good. Number two, what have we been discussing now? The meaning of? A community and its characteristics. Yes, the community and its characteristics. So if you don't have a question, I appreciate your coming and your attendance and your participation. I have enjoyed the lesson because you have been active. So when we meet next, God willing, we'll be looking at the African concept of kinship. The African concept of kinship, what is kinship? And then we will be looking at factors that contribute to harmony and mutual responsibility in the African community. So that's what we'll be discussing the next time we come. Nakama Ukonaswali, based on what we've done in the past, feel free to ask and um, or any, maybe another approach, maybe which you want us to use, you, you are free to, to talk. Now, somebody to, any comment, any question? Because I want us to pray so that we wind up this lesson. Somebody to pray for us? A volunteer? Asap. Asap na kuona tu hapa. Karibu sasa wewe ndiyo. Mtapati yo privilege ya kutu peleka mbele za mungu. Asap. Hola. Yes. Frederick, your hand is up. You also want to pray? Yes. Okay, asa fataomba alafu we uombe. Ndiyo tuwe na watu wa wili wa kuomba. So asa, pray, then Frederick prays. Yes? Let's bow our heads for the prayer. Our dear Heavenly Lord, we want to thank you for enabling us see this day. Thank you for the great lesson offered by our CRE teacher. Help us understand what she has taught us and Give us the confidence to be strong during this pandemic. Even as we are at home, dear Lord, please help us read because we shall still go back to school eventually. It is in your mighty name we do pray trust and believe.
Amen. 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 Frederick, are you praying? Amen. Frederick, are you praying? Okay, silence. Okay, so let's appreciate uh, Asaf. Thank you. Uh, Asaf, thank you for taking us before the Lord. Uh, maybe Frederick with the hand was up by mistake. So people, please take care. The, the coronavirus or the pandemic, the numbers are really rising. On Friday, I think the president is meeting the cabinet. I don't know what is going to come up. There may be further restrictions. And remember, as I was telling another group, I don't know whether it is, even if I had told you, let me repeat. For quite some time, we thought this virus is mainly affecting the old, but now things are changing. Even the young people are being affected. We are losing lives, both for the young and old. Please don't take anything for granted. Wash your hands, keep social distance, stay at home. There are those who normally young people who sneak to go for some parties somewhere. This is no time to take a risk with your life. Just be obedient. Be among men. Among men are generally very obedient to young people. So please keep that virtue of obedience and just follow the simple rules. Somebody was on video saying that, uh, and of course, note. Note, and I'm not scaring you, from the statistics, the, the incidents, uh, uh, somebody, I don't know, maybe I'd refer, we are losing more men than women. And somebody was trying to give an explanation, which I may not give. And uh, okay, they were saying maybe one contributing factor of infection, the men sometimes tend to be resistant. Let's wash our hands. So please, let's lay water. Because this is a very simple virus which you can just handle with water. Water and soap. There was a meme where a small girl was asking, how come a virus which can just be washed away by soap and water, and yet scientists cannot get medicine, I mean a vaccine for it? It is so simple when it comes to prevention. So just follow those simple rules and we'll be happy to have you back. And we pray for each other so that God keeps us safe. And for us who are old, we also pray for us so that we also survive and we meet next year, okay? So okay. bye. God bless you. Yes. And bye. say hello to bye. your parents. Bye. 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 bye.